Hello and welcome to Friday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic and the 1st of March is upon us. Um, and that is, well, it's, it's very good news if you're a patron of the channel over on Patreon, but we'll get to that in a minute. Today's puzzle, um, it marks the end of a series by the constructor Oripi. I think, is it Oripi or Oripi? I'm not sure. I'm going to go for Oripi. Hmm, I don't know. But this is called Kaiser Lit is it Kaiser Licha Marina or Kaiser Licha Marina which I looked it up is the Imperial German Naval Fleet <laughs> and and that is because we have to put we have to basically play battleships today I don't know if you're familiar with the logic problem battleships I certainly am this is a stalwart of the US puzzle championship every year there's always a battleships puzzle it's normally the first puzzle you normally get five or ten points for it but you have to you have to be able to knock these out quickly um if you want to do well in the US Puzzle Championship. Uh, and the idea is you have to place this fleet in the grid such that um, if you put this battleship in, say there, then you can't touch this battleship even diagonally with the other battleships that you put in the grid. And then each battleship is going to operate as a German whispers line, which I, I love. I love the idea behind that. So it really is a German fleet. Um, and the title is very appropriate. But Oripi has basically spent February producing a series of hybrid puzzles. We've had them recommended a lot, um, different different ones from the series. But we're going to have a go at this one, which the testers say is lovely. And if it's popular, we'll certainly have a look at some of the others as well, I hope, in due course. And basically what Oripi has been doing is um, creating hybrids from classic pencil puzzle forms like Nurikabi or Akari and Sudoku. Now, that is not an easy thing to do. Well, let me caveat that slightly. It's not an easy thing to do well, um, because what tends to happen is that you end up with one one part of the puzzle dominating the other. So the Sudoku might be subservient to the logic puzzle or vice versa. Um, but apparently um, in Oropi's series, that is not the case and everything blends beautifully together. So I think we're in for a bit of a treat, although I have no idea at all about how difficult this puzzle is. Uh, it's not on Logic Masters Germany. I did check that, but there's, there's no news. So I, I, I can't I can't provide any guidance and perhaps the the length of the video um, might be the best guidance for that. Um, now, because it, let, let's move on to other news. I don't have any birthdays to do today, which is weird because yesterday was a big birthday day. Um, but I did hear from Lucy. Um, so I just want to wish Lucy all the best. She has had the operation. She has donated uh, part of her liver um, altruistically and without knowledge of who, who the recipient is. And apparently, well, Lucy's side of it has gone well. The recipient side of it has gone well. So what a thing to do. And Lucy, we wish you all the very best. And frankly, we think you're a remarkable person for doing that. So um, I just wanted to give that shout out. Uh, on other matters, Patreon, yes, what have we got going on over there? Loads. Well, firstly, there was a bonus crossword video on the channel this morning, um, which was my solve of today's Times crosswords. So if you do try, if you are trying to improve your cryptic crossword skills, that might be a video you're interested in. But also, uh, this evening over on Patreon, we have my my talk through, really, of Dean Mayer's incredible Sunday Times crossword from last weekend, which I was just in love with. What a puzzle that was. Um, so that video's on Patreon. We've got at four o'clock this afternoon, our brand new competition went live, themed around negative constraints. Um, it's called Evening Attractions. Um, so do have a look at that. You've got until the 20th um, to get your solutions to us and be in with a chance of winning the competition. Um, and then tomorrow, I think we're releasing my three and a half hour magnum opus video in which I do battle with Emre Kalotoglu's uh, regional geometry or region geometry, which which is definitely one of the hardest puzzles I've ever solved in my life. Um, yeah, so that should be tomorrow over on Patreon as well. Now, was there anything else? Oh, I have downloaded Islands of Insight. Um, so I will check whether or not it triggers my 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 motion sickness. I'm really hoping not because I'm very anxious to see if we can stream that game because it sounds like it would be a, a perfect game for us really, a, a, a true follow up to The Witness, which was the first game we ever streamed. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll have more, more news on that in due course. Um, but let's have a look at Oropi's puzzle and I will read you the rules. They are as follows. Normal Normal nine by nine Sudoku rules apply. Okay, so we've got to put the digits one to nine once each in every row, in every column, 
and then every three by three box this this grid looks smaller than usual today but is it because this yeah maybe the software is sort of adjusting because yeah because there's this battleship fleet outside the grid i don't know to, to me it looks a bit smaller battleships um place the given fleet of ships into the grid so that no two ships are touching not even diagonally rotating ships is permitted uh, a clue outside the grid indicates the number of cells in the corresponding row or column that are occupied by ship segments so this column has six ship segments that's quite hard to say six ship segments it's like red lorry yellow lorry or she sells she sells on the seashore um or no no son, stop it uh this one has five in it um so that's that's something and then it says german fleet all ships are german whisper lines um, which means that adjacent digits along the line must have a difference of at least five. So if we put one, two, if we put the five cell ship in there, let's just put it in, plop like that, um, and say this was a one. Now this square would have to be at least five different from one, so it could be six, seven, eight, or nine. And then if this was nine, this would have to be four, three, or two, because it needs to be at least five different from nine, etc. Um, so that's how that rule works. And then we've got crocky dots. Digits separated by a white dot are consecutive. So we have got, actually, there is a fair sprinkling of those around the grid. So imagine this square here was a 2. This would have to be a 1 or a 3 in order to be consecutive with 2. Digits separated by a black dot have a 1 to 2 ratio, meaning one is exactly double the other. Okay, so if this was a 2, this could be a 4 because 4 is double 2 or a 1 because 2 is double 1 and not all dots are necessarily given so that's saying that if we did have a two and a four say over here there doesn't have to be a black dot between these cells um, they can quite happily coexist in the grid it's just we know positive information about the cells that do uh, have a black dot between them and that is all the rules now i have got i did snip um i did snip this which is an example of how the puzzle works but this is not a nine by nine grid um this and uh, so the german whispers i think work a bit differently in the sense that i think it's a difference of three along the along the ships once they've gone into the grid you can see that this ship for example this three cell ship uh, goes four one five so it looks to me like it's a difference of three that's being imposed now you can play this example puzzle uh we'll put a we'll put a link to under the video to where you can play this puzzle as well as obviously the main puzzle um but let's just have a quick stare at it and see if we understand it so certainly these fours oh it won't let me draw on it but these fours they do indicate that there are four ship segments in their respective rows and columns and then the german whispers just seem to be working as you'd expect along the ships and none of the ships touch one another so i can see how that 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 puzzle is looking like it works um Anyway, do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. But now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Um, now. Let's just think about this for a second. I'm not sure whether I'm meant to do Sudoku on the dots, which actually looks, oh, goodness me. I mean, that's that's incredibly dotty, <laughs> that bottom part of the grid. Or whether I'm meant to think about the ship clues first. Mm. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's something very strange going on in row eight. Uh, and the reason I say that is that anything, any domino that has a white dot between it separates consecutive digits. Therefore, it does not that those two cells could not be on a ship because the ship can, uh, thing says that you've got to have digits that are five apart so there's no horizontal uh, yeah okay so there's no horizontal ship there could be vertical ships and that throws everything out of kilter um but let me just count this one two three four five six right so that digit is under some pressure i'm going to say nine eight no that doesn't work nine eight seven six five four 
Then we get another, another one there. Okay, um, there's, there's loads of things to look at here. It's, it's quite interesting, but what I'm not sure about is where the best place to start is. But let's perhaps have a look at this black dot, the lower digit of which, if we think about digits that are that can possibly be on black dots in Sudoku. Well, there's one thing we can say, which is that five, seven, and nine are impossible because they have no digit that's either half of them or double them that is a valid Sudoku digit. So five, seven, and nine are not there. So in theory, these squares are one, two, three, four, six, and eight. But lots of these are not possible into this square. Yeah, these, this is much smaller than usual today. I can barely see this. Uh, we can't put one there because this, 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 this cell is in the middle of a sequence. It's in the middle of a six cell sequence that goes from here to here to here to here. We don't know whether the sequence goes up or down, but clearly, um, if, I mean, if we start with one there, two, three, this would be a four. And if we start with one here, one, two, this would be a three. Um, so again, we can't we can't have this being two. We can't have it being eight. It's too extreme in the sequence of digits one to nine. Now, the interesting thing I have spotted here is this can't be a three, because if this was a three, one, the only way this can be a three is if we start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and these two digits would both have to be six. So that doesn't work. Um, which means this is weirdly, it's four or six. So this digit is then three. Now, hmm, it could be two or eight on the other one, because four can be opposite a two or an eight, depending on which way it goes. Now, so if this was six, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Wouldn't work, would it? Because that 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 would use the three that we need up here. So we'd have to go from this side and go nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Let me just let me just put that in so I can look at it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. This would be a one, two, three, triple. This would be a three, a two, and a one. So this box would completely fill itself in. Hmm. Okay, I don't really know what that means, I have to say. I mean, I can't see what's wrong with that. Uh, I mean, the other thing I've noticed is that I think this digit is odd. And the way I'm getting that is if you think about any... Let's look at this, this domino for a moment. This is a consecutive pair of digits. So one of these digits is odd and one of them is even. And that is the nature of any, any pair of consecutive numbers. There will be one even and one odd. And therefore we can divide this box look into different dominoes. So that must contain an even digit. That must contain an even digit. That must contain an even digit. And that must contain an even digit. Now that's four even digits that we've used up, and there are only four even digits in Sudoku, two, four, six, and eight. So this square is most certainly therefore odd. Um, not really, I, I suspect that isn't important, but I will just note it for the sake of good order. Um, but, okay. Here is another point. This can't be two, actually, I've just realized. If this was two, this is four, but whichever way round this sequence is going around the four, it will hit two because the four is in the middle of the sequence, isn't it? So there's either going to be a two here or there's going to be a two here. That's going to be forced. So this square actually is now three or eight. Which feels so, okay, <laughs> I don't know what that means. It does mean that five has to be on the bottom sequence, so five is definitely not here. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This would be eight. 
that could be seven or nine that could be seven or nine uh, i'm not getting this i can't quite see how to do it at all it's not something to do with the six at the top is it i mean this is this is again in the middle of a sequence isn't it this black dot here i mean six six battleship segments in this column is a lot of battleship segments especially as you can't right you can't cross a black dot so what i mean by that is you can't have a vertical ship going through a black dot it's the same actually as a white dot isn't it because the furthest apart you could you could push the two digits on the black dot would be a four eight pair and they're not five apart so in terms of battleshipage uh, let's just that's and that is is forced can you put a battleship here i don't think so I mean, if that digit six, seven, eight, nine, that's far. That's not. That's not far enough apart either. So, although you can put battleship segments into here, here, and here, they would have to be horizontal segments. And the maximum number of horizontal segments we could put in would be five. If we had five horizontal battleships going through those five cells there. And that's five is not equal to six. So there must be at least one battleship in this column that is is bigger, if you like. But that could emanate. So we could have a horizontal one there, a vertical one there. So we, yeah, we're not saying that you can't have a battleship, a vertical battleship overlaying a black dot. We're just saying it can't overlay both cells on the black dot. Hmm. All of which is jolly interesting. Oh, okay, but that cell can't be battleship at all. Because now, now, to be battleship, it needs to be a horizontal battleship, but it's on a white dot, which is impossible. So that, we need to have a cell, we need to have a colour that means not battleship. C! <laughs> that makes the most sense, doesn't it? We'll have C, which can be blue. Um, so that's blue, which now means that we've got to put six battleships into only eight eight segments ah and these are going to be five apart aren't they because of the so yeah we worked this out before if, if this if we have one on one end of the sequence we had six on the other so those two could be on a battleship and probably have to be yeah how is this not on a battleship if that's not on a battleship uh yeah you can't, i don't think you can do it because of the black dots but seven of the so out of these seven cells you'd have to make six of them battleships but there isn't the longest battleship is a five battleship so you could have a five battleship there but because you can't use both of these cells you'd have to use that one and then you'd have to have all actually that hang on that works sorry i miscounted it i've miscounted it it does work Yeah, because we can have a five length battleship, we can do it like that. Oh, no, no, hang on. That can't be a battleship either because that's got white dots on both sides of it. Ah, now that's even better. OK, so now I've got I've got. Yeah, OK, this is it. This is how we get the break in. This is really clever. Really like this, RP. Very, very nice. So now look, this can't be battleship because it's got white dots either side of it. This can't be. This could be. And if it wasn't. Now I'd have six cells that all have to be battleship, and that is a five cell battleship, so that doesn't work. So this is battleship, which will make orange. It can't go right, so it must go left. Now we can start to perform, to perform battleship magic, which means all of these squares have to be C. Because if any one of these squares was orange, you can see it would touch this battleship. Um, now... How does that help us then? Does it help us at all? Yes. Okay. Sorry. I, I was wondering how we're going to use this. We've got five battleship look in row eight. So all of those are now battleship, which means all of these are now not battleship. All of these are not battleship. Okay. Well, that's definitely at least some progress. Oh, and we we better tick off the battleships that we've we've built.
So we've built two two battleships, so they the, so these ones can come off, Let's see. and we've built a three battleship, so that can that can be ticked off. So we haven't found normally with battleship puzzles the trick is to find what is often called the battleship, the biggest ship, but we haven't found that yet. Although it's probably in this column, I think, because five of these cells have to be battleshipped. Hmm. We haven't hmm, actually. Hang on. Well, ah, look at that. We've got one battleship in column eight, so all of those turn blue. This uh, we can't cross that boundary, so we can draw that line in. Same is true there. Same is obviously true there, but probably doesn't need stating now. We've blued column eight. Same thing there as well. Yeah, either of these could be battleship at the moment. Right, so what on earth do we do now? <laughs> um, don't know. Five must be on one side of this. If this is four, it must be surrounded by five and three. If this is six, it must be surrounded by five and seven. Don't, I don't know. I don't think that matters very much. Do we know anything else? Maybe maybe this sequence of five dots is important. So the difference between these numbers is four, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So this digit can't be one or two or eight. So that is three, four, or six, which means this digit is three, six, Two, no, can it be two? No, the four, if there was a four here, it would have a two in one of those positions. So no, that doesn't work. So that's also three, six or eight. So one of these is three, six, and one of them is, oh, that's right, okay. Sorry, I didn't spot this. So we've now got a three, six, four, eight quadruple in this column. And therefore the, the rest of the squares are one, two, five, seven, and nine. So that square is a bit restricted. That's one, two, or nine. And several of these have to play. We've got to be playing German Whispers, don't we? That can't be German Whispers five. You can't put five on a German Whisper. Let's just work out why that's true. If you put five on a German Whisper, this digit has to be five different from five. And no Sudoku digit will fulfill that criteria. So this is either one, two, seven, or nine. And that is at one side of the sequence, isn't it? So, four, one, two, three, four, and this would be three, six. But we've got to be a bit careful now because there, right, there is a five in one of these three squares in column five, and that cannot be a battleship cell. So that is the, that is the third, that is the blue cell. So the rest of this, all of those squares are definitely battleship. Ah, oh, this is gorgeous. So now these two squares, oh no, it doesn't work. I thought that was gonna do it. I thought we were gonna get the parity. Um, well, these two squares have to be five apart. So if this is eight, this is one or two. If this is three, this is nine. That's a shame. I thought, mm, I thought I was onto something there. Um, and because, right, because one of these is, no, we still don't know, do we? I was wondering if I could rule out this from being a five, but that would just imply there was a horizontal battleship there, and that's probably fine. Okay. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. Can I, oh, I can, I can tick off that clue. There we go, I can turn it off. I can't, I can turn off that clue. 
I don't I haven't got this clue or this clue figured out quite. This six clue is nearly done, I think. But that could be horizontal. There's no okay, the, the five cell battleship is not alright, let's let's extend our blue into those squares, which is certainly possible. We can also blueify all of these. Ah, and that does it. Right, that does the top row look. Again, this is just because we can't touch a battleship even diagonally. So this cell causes those four to all turn blue. Now we've only got five cells for orange that can exist in row one. So the, ah, these, these, there are no single cell battleships. Normally in battleships puzzles there are. Normally there are four single cell battleships. But here we've only got at least two cell battleships. So these must both come out which means that's therefore blue. This must come out, so these two turn blue. And that's going to mean something, probably. Um, oh goodness, I don't know. What does that mean? I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. <laughs> um, I've got one, right, that can't be five anymore. If that's seven, look, that would need to be a one or a two to be five different. So that's not possible. There is a five in one of those two cells, and that is the blue cell in this column. Um, if that was six, the sequence would be four, five, six, seven, eight in some order. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be three. These would be one, two, nine, triple. Um, is it? Oh, no, I was thinking maybe. I was, I, was, I was imagining this was a German whisper for a moment, and that's going to make things very complicated. No, but that certainly isn't a German whisper. We probably are going to have to think German whisper logic in a minute or two, because I'm struggling to see how to make much more progress now. That's done. We can colour it in. I mean, if that's three... That would have to be a one, I think, because if this is if this is three, this sequence is two, three, four. But in a German whisper, if you think about the way that German whispers lines move, because they can't have five on them, each digit on a whispers line is either lower than five or higher than five. So imagine this was lower than five. What would this be? Now it needs to be at least five different from this, so it cannot be below five again. So this would be above five, this would then be below five again. But that's going to put too many low digits in this row if this is if this is a three. So the only way that could work, I think, is if this is exactly equal to one and these were both high. Now, I'm not saying that's impossible, I'm just noting that it's quite constrained if this is three. But if this is 3, 6, this is 8, and this is 1 or 2, and if that's 8, that's 4, this is 3, 4, 5, so this would be low, hmm, oh, it's it's close now to being very constrained, but still not there. Right, where do we look next? We've almost done all. We've almost done all the battleship clue. Oh, I see. Right. Oh, that's really clever. No, fair play. Oh, yeah. No, it is really clever. It is really clever. I said. Uh, I should take my own advice. I said earlier, where is the battleship? That is the question you often have to ask. Well, where is the battleship here? It's five cells large. We can't go in the middle because there's a five in one of these two. It can't go here in this column because there's a white dot that's going to prevent 
uh, as moving a battleship through the white dot. And it can't go in this section of digits because they are not one by five large. That's a three by four area. So it has to go in this column and it can't go low without bumping into this. So it is this. That is a ship. That is a battleship. That is blue. So this gets filled in. I've got actually I've got a bad feeling that's not done anything. Oh, well. Hmm. OK, well, what that has done is begged a question, I think. And that question that we're that I'm begging is where do we put the two four cell battleships, the sort of slightly smaller battleships? Now, where, wherever we put the five in column five, that's not going to allow a four cell battleship. We can't put a four cell battleship here because of this. So there must be two four cell battleships here, which must be vertical. This has been very cleverly done, actually. It's really good, this puzzle. And now, right, so now those are battleships. We've got, oh, I've got far, I've got far too many. <laughs> Oh no, okay. No, because I haven't I haven't labelled these yet. So I've got a three and a two in some order in column five, so let's tick those off just so we can get an exact count. So we're left with a two, a three, E and a three. Did I count that one when we put the five into the top row? Because otherwise I've not got enough space to do this. One, two, say that one, three. I need another one. So that, yeah, okay, so I mustn't have counted this. So that's definitely... So I've got one more to put in col this column and a two as well. So there is a two and a three in this column. Right, so that means, and they can, we can't take both of these, so we must take both of these. And we take one of these, depending on which one is the three battleship that's left. So we've almost done all the battleships. Right, okay, um, what does that mean? Is it going to be about fives is the question I'm wondering. Hmm. It might be, <laughs> but I'm not quite sure. I do know there's a five in one of those squares, don't I? I can't put five on a black dot. Oh, it's not going to be something like that, is it? Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Where does the five go in this box? And the answer is I don't really know, but I know it's not on a battleship and I know it's not on a black dot. So by Sudoku, it's in one of these two squares, which means that is not five, which means the only place now for five in this column is here, which is which must be a sea seashell seashell seashells on the seashore. This makes this a battleship, um, which is probably useful. Maybe uh, I don't know actually. Okay, yeah. Where's where is five in this box? It can't go on battleships, so five is horizontal in this box it's in one of these two squares which is well that means this can't be three because if this is three how whichever way round the sequence goes you're always going to get a five in one of those squares so that's not three anymore so it's now so this isn't six anymore i've now got a three eight pair and a four six pair but it's still unresolved um maybe i've really got to be diligent then Oh, do I really have to pencil mark these? I don't want to. I really don't. I mean, there is a five in one of those. That's true. Because if this is four, this is a three, four, five triple. If it's a six, it's a five, six, seven triples. So there is five in one of those. So there is five in one of these. That's a little X-wing of fives we've discovered, which is good. Actually, that is good. It's very good. That's going to do work. Because um, we can now ask where five goes in column 
7. Look, it can't go here because there's a 5 in one of these. So it's in one of those two and it's not on the black dot. So it's there. We know there's a 5 in one of these. Can't put a 5 on a black dot, so there's a 5 here, which means that's a 5. Wow. Um, hmm. I thought that was going to be really, really good, but maybe it's not. So this is 3 or 8. And if it's 3, this is 6. I'm wondering if we're going to have a problem with this, with the two black dots in this row, if that's 3. Because what I'm, yeah, that's probably right, actually. I think that is right. If this is 3, this digit here is 2 or 4 by consecutiveness. And these two cells together are going to consume two of the very low numbers in row seven. But not, crucially, they don't consume the one. Now, if you think about the nature of a black dot digit, it's always got to have on it a one, two, three or four. It must do. It must have one low digit and possibly one high digit. If it's a three, if, it's, if there's a three on a black dot, it goes up, it goes with six. If there's a four, it goes with eight. But if it's a one, it always goes with two. And if it's a two, it goes with four or one. So if these two are both low, and there must be other low digits on both black dots, the one, there must be a one on a black dot, mustn't there, in this row. And that's going to consume two low digits. So we might have to put one, two here. And now there's no low digit for the other one. So this is not three. That's lovely as well. I mean, that's a very sudoku -y point in the middle of our battleship logic. So now this square's three, this square's six. These two squares are now five and seven, uh, which means these two squares are four and eight. And oh, okay, and these are one, two, nine, which is one of the possibilities I think we were thinking about before. Now, if that's eight, that's now four. So these squares are now three and five, which means these squares are two and six. And depending on which way round this goes, this is either a one or a seven. Ah, one or a seven here. Um, <laughs> do we know which of those is true? We probably do, I just don't know how to see it. Uh, this square is a seven or a nine. Okay, now we've used no low numbers in the row so far, so we've got plenty of flexibility on our black dots. This odd digit here is no longer able to be three though, is it? So we've got a sort of one, seven, nine triple outstanding. Ah, I'm not sure. Okay, but if this is eight, from a German Whispers perspective, this is a low digit, so that's a one or a two. And from a German Whispers perspective, this has got to be a high digit, because it's got to be at least five different from three. So that's nine. Has that done it now? So this is now this is now one or a two. This is a one or a two, and that gets me the bottom digit as a seven. Oh, this is superb, because now I can finally unwind this. It's got to go this way round. So this is nine now, and this is one. And that ha okay, so that has consumed one of the low digits. So one of these now will, will, if we think about the low digits that are available to go on these black dots, there are, they are two, three, and four. But wherever I put the two, it can't go with the one, so it will go with the four. So one of these is two, four, and one of these is three, six, uh, which means that digit is a seven, my Sudoku. So now there is a seven on my whisper, on my on my battleship, my, on the big battleship. So if that's a seven, this would be a one-two pair. Ah, but that's not a seven on the end of the battleship. So there is a, there is a mid seven bat, mid seven on this battleship, and seven is almost monogamous. Seven has to partner up with one and two if it's in the middle of a German whisper line. 
um, they are the only two digits that are far enough apart for seven from seven to be Sudokuable. Right, so how do we do this next stage? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. But I'm, fe I'm feeling more confident we will at some stage crack the puzzle now. So we still don't know where the, <laughs> how we split up the last, the last areas of whiteness. Um... Okay, so we may... Okay, there's a 1 here by Sudoku. So that's 1 and that's 2. That's going to be useless. Oh, no, it's not. That's exactly what we were thinking about the 7. If this was 7 now, this has to be a 1 or 2. So that's not 7. That's gorgeous as well. That really is gorgeous. So this is a 1-2 pair. There's a 1-2 pair now, I've discovered in row 4. And we know the polarity of the whisper, in the sense these are now high digits. Oh, then one of them could be a six, though, uh, although that one can't. So this is eight or nine. Going into a one or a two, a seven, a one or a two, and then a something. Okay. What now, then? If this is one, two, this is not two, which means that's not four, six, um, is it difficult now? If, uh, yeah, there you go. Let's have a look at this digit. Because that digit by Sudoku this time sees 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it can't be a low digit. So it's got to be a high digit. And that gives us the polarity of this, this three-cell battleship. Oh, it's not 7 as well. Uh, so this has got to be 6, 8, or 9. This has got to be 1, 2, 3, or 4. Not 4, because 4 is monogamous and would have to be surrounded by double 9. In fact, not 3 either by Sudoku. So this is 1 or 2. Um... Wow, that feels important. It's not something to do with this white dot now, is it? Well, there must be a low digit on on this two cell battleship at the start of, of row eight. So it's a one or a two, and a six, seven, eight, or nine. Yeah, but we've sort of run out of low digits now, haven't we? We can't put the 1 or the 2 here, because then this would have to be from 1, 2 or 3 to be consecutive, and those digits have all gone in the row. So this is the high digit, and this is a high digit, and one of these must be a 7, so neither of these is a 9. And this is a 1 or a 2. And that means 9 is in one of these two cells, which means, oh, I don't know if that's important or not. Okay. So if that was 2, neither of these could be 6. But if this is 1, one of them could be. Oh, Bobbins, I'm sure there is a way if we can figure this out. I was just a little bit cleverer. Um, I know there's a 7 on here, but I don't know whether this has got 6 on it or not. Oh, and the 2, look. The 2 in this box by Sudoku is vertical in column 8. That doesn't seem to do enough in this column. Good Lord. Right. So we're going to have to think harder again. <laughs> what could it be? It's going to be something like... Hmm, I, I mean, is it these four-cell battleships? Ah, no, it's not. It's this one. Just seen something here. Look, I've got a seven, a six, and an eight or a nine here. So how could those both be high digits in row one? There wouldn't be there would be too many high digits in the row so these have got to be low 
which means this is high and that's the last high digit isn't it it's not six oh islands of insight your game is ready to play that's a, that's exciting can't be seven either so there's an eight nine pair here the rest of the row is ones twos threes and fours so these are one two three and four ah <laughs> that's really naughty um I know that's high now, so that's six, seven, eight, or nine, but not seven. Or eight, actually. It does see eight in this row. So that's six or nine. If it was six, that would be one. If it was six, that would also stop this being battleship, because six was six would require double one in the column. But oh, I don't know. Um Hmm, no, I really don't know. So, okay, here's a tiny point. See the, the battleship in column one, the, the four cell battleship, that's gonna have two low digits on it, either in those two positions or those two positions. And wherever they are, they complete the low digit quota for the column, don't they? So the two blue cells have to be high digits. And that we know is not eight by the, the pattern. There's a four, eight pair there. And this one, oh, that one's a bit better actually. That's not six or seven. So that's eight or nine. Oh golly, that feels like it's somehow important, doesn't it? Can I, can I, <laughs> what, what, what am I meant to do? I don't know. I'm I'm not sure. Um, it might maybe the black dots in row five. I could well believe that they're under some pressure that I haven't appreciated. Or ah no, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a five on this white dot. That that is forced, isn't it, in this column? By, by the X-wing. So if there's a five on the white dot, the other digit is four or six. So this these are from four, five, and six. Oh, don't tell me that does nothing. Feels like it's trying to do something in the column. No, okay, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, actually. I'm, I'm not seeing how I can use that. So, wow, <laughs> I don't know where to look. Um, where could it be? Let's try. Okay, in this column, there is, look, a six, eight, nine triple that I hadn't noticed. So that square is not six, which means this square is not three. So as Maverick flies over, this is a three or a four, and I think that is also a three or a four. Now, is that helpful? No. <laughs> no appears to be the answer. Um, oh, bobbins. So... Two, two is in, ah, oh, there's no two there. It's probably going to be Sudoku, actually. I could well believe that. You can't put one on this black dot because it will clash with this cell. So one in this box is quite restricted. Look, it's got to be in one of two places only. No, it could be there. That's total and utter nonsense. Sorry, I was thinking I'd done it then. I was, but... But no, that's, that's such utter nonsense. It doesn't even, it shouldn't even be considered. Okay, so one one in this row is, ah, okay, one in the row is over there. It's in one of these three squares. So it's nearly on the black dot. If it's on the black dot, this is a one, two pair. Is that... These two digits are the same as well. 
but they could be two if this was a one two pair um I mean if the, if this black dot's got two on it it is a two four pair and that would make this the one actually because then you couldn't put one here so if there's two on here we know five we don't know about nine do we in this box I don't think I mean nine can't be on the black dot and nine can't be here so nine is in one of three positions which is just not good enough okay um could we yeah it's some it's something sudoku-y that i'm not spotting that i am convinced of oh can i do the order of this five seven thing yeah look there's a five seven re resolution at the top here it's not going to do anything but i have just seen it oh seven is in one of those squares now Does it do any more than that? There's a six in one of these squares as well. And we now know this is four, don't we? And this is eight. So, th so this actually is six, seven, eight on the left hand side, which means these squares are three, four and nine. I'll be astonished if this does anything, but I, I will be very pleased as well. because we just we just don't have enough information in the in the crossing entries for it to be helpful okay no that that didn't do it did it um there's going to be two low digits here there's a third low digit there that might be low but it might not it could be six just if that's six three then the last low digit in this column would have to be here. But, uh, but it can be. Absolutely it can be. Okay, that's that's unhelpful. Um, wow. So come on Simon how long have I had 52 minutes it's not it's definitely not an easy puzzle at least not for me and I do have a little bit of experience with battleships so I hope that means that I'm not just butchering this I do really like it I admire it as a puzzle it's very clever um, but I want to solve it now I want to solve it and the way I'm going to solve it is I mean, there must be a three or a four in this sequence. Well, that's a tiny, it's, a, it's the most tiny point, but I'll make it. Because, because this column still needs a three or a four in it, wherever that three or four goes, it will be next to, on this line, an eight or a nine. So there is a virtual eight, nine pair between these five cells, and that's not a nine. I mean, I know it's a tiny deduction, but... We might need such things, mightn't we? So one, two, six, seven, nine. Can we reduce any of this? Well, this is one, two, six or nine. Seven is definitely in one of those squares in row two. And <laughs> um, I mean, if this was, if one of these is, oh, I don't know, I don't, or, or do I know where this battleship goes? If this was, if this was orange, this would be a four nine pair, wouldn't it? That would be an eight. But if this is orange, then, 
That's quite interesting. If that's orange, this has to be six leading. Ah, car, that's it. Gosh, it is this. Wow. Okay, so, so if we think about what happens if this is orange. If this is orange, we now know this is C. And this is the start of a battleship which, and a start of a whisper. Which means this digit, this, this couldn't be five then. So this would be four or six. Now if it's four, it has to be next to nine. And nine can't go on a black dot. And if it's six, this has to be one. And for some reason, I've got one's pencil marked over there. I can't remember why. Oh yeah, it's because if this was one, this would be a one-two pair and break that. So we can go a little further. We get this digit. Well, we get this. We've now finished the shading. Let's, let's finish it off so we feel good about ourselves. Now, how does this work? So this digit now has to be low because this is high. And that means it's four. So that's four, that's five, that's five, unwinding the X-wing. That's now nine, that's eight. This is no longer four. That's no longer four. One, two, three, triple. So this is now six. So that's now a seven. And this row still needs a one or a two in it, which has to go here. And that's a nine, look, by Sudoku. Ah, well, it's still probably good. It's still, it's still probably helpful. That's not nine anymore. Um, now, has that sorted out enough for us to be confident? These squares are now three, six, and eight. So neither of these squares is three. One of them is four, and that's fine because we've got a nine in the middle of the line. Right, but what about these digits? Well, neither of these can be six because they need a one beneath them by Whisper's logic. So that's gorgeous. So this is a three eight pair. This becomes a six. That knocks six out of there. And here, which knocks three out of here. Oh, bobbins, come on. <laughs> it must be close to cracking now. Um, he says, uh, not able to see why. Okay, so these are three and eight. So the options for these squares, whichever one of these is three, has to have an eight or a nine beneath it. So, I mean, the full panoply of options for these squares are 2, 3, 8, 9. Because an 8 will need to have a 1, 2, or 3 beneath it. Oh, actually, 2 doesn't work because there's a 1, 2 pair in this row. So, one of these squares is 3, isn't it? Because whichever one of these is 8 needs a digit that's low beneath it that can't be 1 or 2 and can't be 4 because 4 and 8 are only 4 apart. So, there is definitely a 3 in one of these, which means that's not a 3. which oh, this feels very close to being powerful, but okay, maybe, ah, but if this is three, what's this? Nah, that doesn't work. There we go, that's it. Right, so it's this column. If this, if this square is three, that, has be, that is because this is eight. So this, this line has got eight, three, and this needs to be a digit that's, it has to be nine. It's the only digit that's f at least five away from three and nine can't go on the black dot again. So we actually get the order here. That's three, that's eight, that's three. This is eight or nine. This is a low digit, which is a one, two or a four. We might be able to get rid of some things from that when I think about it, but let's focus first on finishing off this line. Because I've now got an 8-9 pair in here. And this has to be high, so it has to be 6. So that's 6, that's 1. So that is 2. Ah, okay. I'm not sure if I was expecting that or not at this juncture, but it does seem to be true. I get a 2-4 pair at the top. Still got a chance for 3 in the corner there, which I will monitor in hope, but not expectation. Um... Okay, this, this is now a 2, so this is a 1, so that's a 2, that's a 4, this is now 3 and 6, which has to be this way round. 
Okay, so this is now a 7-8 pair, and we know the order. Good. So that's 8, that's 7. That's 7 by Sudoku. This column needs a something in it. The something being a 4. <laughs> um, that's a 4, that's a 2 by Sudoku. This is a 9, so that's an 8. These digits here are 4 and 9. Ah, and we know the order from the whisper, so 9 and 4 go in. That's become a 3. So that's a 9, I suppose. Oh, that's good, actually, look, because that's given me this digit. That's now got to be 4. That's got to be 3. I mean, I don't want to speak too soon, but it does, I think, it does suggest that we have done this. I think the puzzle is finally prepared to reveal its secrets to us. <laughs> this square's a 9. That's a 6 by Sudoku. That's a 9. That's a 6. In this box at the bottom, we've not put in... Th oh, 3. We are, we are going to get a 3 in the corner, because I've got an X-wing of 3s left. <laughs> um, I don't know which way round it is. I do, actually. Look, I've got a 1 here. So it's, it's 1, 3... Three, eight, and that's three in the corner. That's three in the spotlight, losing its religion. Uh, thank you very much for that, Oropi. Now, that's interesting. So we ended up with an eight on this black dot. So that's a one, that's a two, that's a one, that's a two, and that's a one. What a brilliant puzzle. I think that is finished it. Let's see. Yes, 70 people have solved that in 87 days. It's taken me just over an hour. That um, do I like it? Yes, I do. I'm I'm really impressed, actually, with that. Really impressed. That was not easy. Um, but it was it was a sensational mixture of battleship logic and Sudoku logic. And really I really had to think very hard about some some of that to sort it out. But it was always fair. Every deduction that we found, once you spotted it, it was like, oh that's really nice. And that's sort of a perfect puzzle. So Oropi, take a bow. Really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching me for an hour on a Friday evening. Let me know in the comments how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.